Wiring this is very simple, but there are certain important information that if you don't have about this, connecting them will be dangerous. All single phase meters are not connected the same way. This is a single phase meter. So normally a single phase meter like this comes with four terminals. So we have two that take the supply inputs from the utility pole. And then we have two that connects to the consumer unit that supplies power to the various circuits in your wiring. All right, so before I continue, let's look at a very simple example of how um, the different meters are wired. Okay, so usually for a single phase meter, like the one I have here, as you can see, there are one, two, three, four connection points or terminals where we can connect our incoming and outgoing cables. So I'm going to represent that on the paper here. So we can say this is one, two, three, four. All right. So now these four terminals, which two connect to the incoming supply and then which two connect to the consumer unit? That is where the issue is. Usually in all the configurations, we would have live here and then neutral here. And in most cases, this live here is the live input or the live that is coming from the utility pool. So the first terminal on the left on any single phase meter takes the live wire that is coming from the pool. And this third terminal is also mostly neutral. Okay, so this is a simple trick. Neutral is usually common. And so normally the input and then the output terminals are linked. Okay, so let's move on to look at the first instance. In the first instance, you have a meter with four terminals, just like this one. One, two, three, four. Like one, two, three, four. Okay, in the first instance, we have the live input connected to the first terminal on the left. Then the neutral input connects to the second terminal. Like this. So you have live input, neutral input. And then normally the neutral is linked because neutral is always common. So there is a link between this second terminal and then the third terminal. So obviously, our output neutral will take from terminal 3 to the consumer unit. Okay, so if our L in is here and our neutral in out is here, then definitely we have our L out connected to the first terminal on the right or the last terminal if we count from the left. So in that instance, it means that the two wires that we have coming from the utility pool, one, two, will connect live here, neutral here, and then neutral output, live output. Then when we go to the second example, we have one, two, three, four. The same four terminals. And as I said earlier, we always have L1 or L input here and then neutral here. This third terminal is always neutral, but whether it is neutral out or neutral in, that is what we will find out here. So in this case, this neutral, this neutral, the, the third terminal we marked here is neutral out, okay? In some cases, that could be neutral in. All right, so in this other case, we have L1 or L in, input live from the utility pool connected to the first terminal on the left. Then we have the output live connected to the second terminal from left. Then neutral 
to the third terminal, counting from left, live out. Then we have neutral in, and then here will be neutral out. Okay, so here, unlike the first instance, we have live, live, that is live in, live out, neutral in, neutral out. So first live will come, then live will go, then first neutral will come, and then second neutral will go. So this is L out, this is L in, this is N in. So here is N out. Okay. All right. So basically, that is how it works. Good. So as I explained earlier, there is a very simple trick to find out the wiring configuration of a particular meter that you have to connect. All right. So with these explanations, let's assume that we have a meter that we have to connect in a wiring. Now, before we connect it, if we don't have the manufacturer's manual, that would tell us the wiring configuration already. Then we would have to do our own test. Okay. So the first simplest way is to use continuity tests to check. Because I said that all the time, neutral input and neutral output is common. It has a bridge. All right. So if it is the first type of meter that we are wiring, which is live in, neutral in, neutral out, live out, then definitely you know terminal 2 and terminal 3 should be bridged together. Okay? So, with that knowledge, you can set your multimeter to continuity and then check. So, what it simply means is that if we check between terminal 2 and terminal 3 and there is continuity, then automatically the first terminal on the left becomes our live input and then the last one here becomes our live output. As simple as that. So in that case, we connect live input here, neutral input here, neutral output here, and then live output here. Okay. Otherwise, we would again have to test between 3 and 4. And if 3 and 4 is continuous, then we know that we are not going to use this wiring configuration. We can't do this. We have to use this configuration. So these are the two simple ways to use the multimeter to find out, to know the wiring configuration of the particular meter you are going to install. So first of all, let's come terminal 2, terminal 3. Okay, so you see that here, nothing happens. There is no sign that this and this is continuous. There is no link between them. If there is no link between them, then it obviously means that this could be live whilst this is neutral. Because in every electrical wiring, there must not be any direct connection without a load or a very high resistance between live and neutral. Otherwise, there will be short circuit. Okay? So if we do this and it doesn't read, then it simply means that we should be considering this meter to be wired in this configuration. But then we still have to confirm. So we'll check between the third terminal and then the last terminal to confirm if our thought or if our assumption is true. Okay, so we come to terminal 3 and then terminal 4. And as you can see, this shows that there is continuity between these last two terminals. But there is no continuity between this and this. Okay? So it means these two are wired for live and these two are wired for neutral. I believe you have learned something from watching this video. If that is true, please don't hesitate to like, share, and then subscribe in case you have not yet done that. See you in the next video.